Michigan is number one in the nation in chestnut production, with more than 100 farms consisting of 600 acres. Easily, if I had 500,000 pounds of chestnuts, we could sell all the chestnuts. There's a population here that really loves chestnuts, and, and uh, the demand is there. And I, at the same time, we're teaching a lot of the population each year when we do roastings about how good chestnuts are and the nutritional value of the chestnuts and the um, easy way to roast chestnuts. In Michigan, a tree should be in production three to five years after planting and in significant production six to seven years after planting. In these seven and a half acres, there are roughly six tons of chestnuts on the orchard floor. However, this successful production was not always the case. In the 1990s, the chestnut industry in Michigan was struggling. Researchers at Michigan State University helped establish the Chestnut Cooperative and are working on different cultivars for the 33 growers. We're working on different cultivars because chestnut trees will produce both very large and small chestnuts. And we have to find something to do with both of these. But if most of our chestnuts came out uniform, like one cultivar, then we'd be able to do uh, more with this. And then if we had an anticipation of chestnuts like this, we'd be able to ramp up a market for small chestnuts. Developing new markets to help you with harvesting, to help you with quality sorting and determination, all these things Michigan State contributes to each facet. And we've had people involved right from the start. We don't wait for a problem. We've kind of developed it along the way. One method for collecting the nuts is by using the nut wizard. Another more effective method is by using Michigan State's fully mechanical Italian harvester that completely sucks them up, separates them, cleans, and then deposits the chestnuts in the bin. This orchard here, these trees could be here 500 years from now or longer. There's chestnut trees in Europe that are 500 plus years old. So talk about a sustainable crop. This is truly a very sustainable crop. From Michigan State University, this is Craig M. Reporting.